So going into the new year, if you're getting into real estate, you're investing your money somewhere, you really want to know the area you're getting into, what's happening there, what the future potential is, because unlike before, you can't just speculate and put your money into something blindly. We've seen how that plays out for a lot of people. You know, people went to small towns, uh, made investments just off speculation and they suffered. So you gotta learn from these people's mistakes. So I'm gonna be putting out this video specific to the Hamilton area of what's happening in the city in the next couple of years and future development potential because that way you can get a good assessment of where you're putting your money because you're probably gonna be buying and holding a property. You're not gonna be flipping, so you're probably invested there for at least three to five years, I would say, and you wanna know what's going on in the area so you can make a good decision and make a more informed decision. So check out the video. You know, I hope you get some value from it. Okay, this is important, like going off of the other point of like what to look for when you're investing in the city. What's not only what's happening right now, but what does the future actually look like, right? So as I discussed before, a lot of the stuff that's happening in the GTA um, or that's you can no longer do there and it's just not a reality there. Like even in terms of affordability or building and development and, you know, just um, new development in general, it's still possible here. There's still areas to do that, to build things out here. There's still areas for retailers, for big companies. Um, we had like an Amazon facility facility go up recently. Um, there's some talks of Tesla building something out as well here, but there's still opportunities to, to, to do that stuff here, right? So compared to GTA, there's still a lot of developable, developable land um, and there's heavy gentrification in the downtown core because there's still areas in very, I would say, like strategic locations, like close to the highway, close to right when you enter Hamilton. So right when you come down the 403, you're right here. There's areas here that there's like vacant buildings that need to go. And we're seeing them actively. We're seeing cranes coming up here. We're seeing projects being developed here. And I'll show you a picture afterwards as well, um, where you can see a lot of developments happening. There's teardowns or there's redevelopment of existing buildings. So that's still a reality here and it's actively happening. We're seeing the permits, we're seeing the builds and it's because of the growing economy and the friendly zoning together. So the city's trying to make it easier for builders to come in and we're seeing a growing economy because of that. So we're going to continue to see that, not only on a residential level, but again, there's Amazon, there's other areas like, like more south, there's still some lands, right, where you're going to see uh, commercial, industrial developments. And even this area here, it's like it, it got purchased by a major developer to revitalize a lot of the industrial stuff here because there's a big demand for industrial space in Ontario. So a lot of these things are what leads you to actually like have a like a valid belief that something's gonna happen. See, that's the concern with a lot of GTA real estate and um, just like the saturated markets when people are investing in like these pre-construction condos and stuff. It's just like, okay, well, because this has been happening for 10 years and people are making money, it's going to continue to happen. Like that's not a solid enough foundation for why you should believe in an investment, right? So when you're looking at an overall city, you got to see what's happening now. What's the future potential? Is there room to build out? Is there a reason why people will be coming here? Which obviously location, development, infrastructure, um, it exists. And, you know, the city's making it easier for people to come. So they're open for business. So that's like what you want to focus on. Now, I'll go into specifics too of some of the stuff that's happening. So you've probably heard about the LRT if you're in the real estate space coming into Hamilton. So this whole central area right down the middle, there's supposed to be the LRT going through here. And that's going to really make things efficient for the city because, um, sorry, McMaster's right here. And 
this area over this axis right through the middle of the city takes you to every point of the city. Now, because of this, a long time ago, uh, when it was proposed, the city started making the zoning very friendly in all these areas surrounding this because they know that over time in every city, you'll see this common trend. They know people are going to be driving less and less. So there's going to be more of these light, light, light rail transits, um, the LRT and other forms of transportation. So they want to allow, um, or not allow, they want to encourage a lot of people to build out based on that sort of zoning where there's buildings and there's affordable housing because they're okay with taking up room even if it means less parking and putting up buildings because they need housing um, because they know less people are going to be driving so it just it's like a you know a win-win maybe you have less space for parking but we know there's going to be less people driving so but because of that and there's more people coming um, and there's already a shortage on housing, you use that to create more buildings, right? So all these areas around that LRT, they have very friendly zoning. It's called TOC, uh, which stands for Transit Oriented Corridor. So all the way from here, all the way down right in the middle of the city. So that's one thing. And now specific to the... Um, condo buildings and a lot of the developments I've been talking about how we're seeing so much uh, of the money coming in here from like GTA developers and local developers too. There's 21 condo developments happening at the time I took this screenshot, which was in the downtown core. That's just in the downtown core of Hamilton. That's like condo buildings, some townhouses, but it's mostly larger buildings because that downtown core area just has those type of lots. And then spread out across the city, you can see these areas where there's a lot of land. There's like, these are like detached, semi-detached townhouse developments happening. So there's a lot of money being poured in. Now, this northern area, we're going to see something called the period development, which I think is a very vital um, change to the city. So that's going to happen right here. So this area, if we, we could probably even take a look at it. Right now there's a skating rink, that sort of stuff here. So this area you see here, it's being redeveloped. So you see there's a marina here, they have cafes, that sort of stuff. But you'll see all these signs here. See, see the signs, it's closed off. This is all supposed to be redeveloped to look like this. So that area is going to look like this. Now, the reason why that's important is because it's a perception thing. So unlike a lot of other cities, Hamilton's so close to the GTA. And when you're coming down, you're going to Niagara Falls, which is pretty common for a lot of people, or you're just driving through the city for whatever reason, you're going to pass, you're going to see this on your way down, this whole area. Once you see and you start like seeing what the city is turning into, you're going to see a lot of people, not only the developers and investors putting money here, but you're going to see the retail buyers start coming down more and more, starts legitimizing the city. And it already has an infrastructure. So it just draws people in, right? Because you'll see, you'll start recognizing it more like another GTA city. Right now it is a full-fledged city, but it's not as modernized as some areas in Toronto, Mississauga, where a lot of younger people that have the ability or the, um, the capacity to afford property there, you know, or even rent. But once you modernize it and you make it attractive, it starts breaking a lot of people in. So we're gonna see that and that's gonna change things. There's been delays with that for various reasons. Obviously with COVID, a lot of things got delayed as well, but um, yeah, that's, uh, that's gonna be a game changer. So you can see, this is like all the money that's kind of going in here, right? And I think that's an important thing to note because that is like your kind of like your basis for why you should be putting your money there, right? If you see a lot of these bigger developers, they have a lot of money dedicated to doing research. So they research these areas, even commercial, even someone, even a business as small as like a restaurant franchise, they have to see are people coming in here. Should we be doing business here? Should we be building up this out here? Should we be building this 
for example, a period development should not be built out here. Why are we doing this, right? Are people going to be moving here? So they spend a lot of money researching this stuff. So you don't have to. So if you see that, then you know it's more of a safe bet.